Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, please just uh, confirm if you can see my screen and hear me well. The voice is clear. Okay, okay, thank you for updating. Okay, we can start now. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for joining us today for our webinar. I'm Minna Bassem, pre-sales engineer, and I will be your host for today's session. Today, we will talk about OS Deployer. I'm so excited to take you through the features and capabilities for this solution, OS Deployer, from Manage Engine. So this is our agenda for today. Uh, we will talk about uh, IT pillars and uh, what we can provide. Why do you need an OS deployer and what is OS deployment, OS imaging, customized uh, deployment template. And also we will talk about post deployment activities and the method we can use to make a deployment. After that, we have Q&A session. If you have any question or need any help, please uh, uh, write this question in Q&A section and we can uh, answer this uh, question during the session or after the session by email, or we can provide you with a personal demo. Okay, IT Pillars is a private company. Uh, uh, we we have more than 450 customers around the case A, and also we have uh, three locations in Jeddah, Riyadh, Egypt. We provide all the uh, managed engine products, more than 90 products and free tools for IT management. Also, we provide all the solution from Zuhu. And recently we have Automate, we can uh, integrate any application from Manage Engine or uh, any third third party application with another application by the automation. Uh, so now we're working uh, on uh, automate or make the integration between Service Disk and WhatsApp. So you can open ticket, you can open a, a, a service, or you can open change any action for from Service Disk use WhatsApp, okay? So this is IT pillars and we can uh, provide you with all the managed engine solutions because we are golden partner, okay? You can uh, take the license, take a professional service with us. So this is unified endpoint management and security solutions. We talked before about uh, endpoint central and what are the features and the capabilities for this solution. Under this umbrella or under this topic, we have different uh, solutions. Uh, for example, for patch manager plus, uh, MDM remote access plus, and also we have OS deployer, which is our topic for today. Okay, OS deployer available uh, as add-on to Endpoint Central. Okay, and also uh, it is available is uh, in in standalone uh, solution or separate solution. You can install and use separate without Endpoint Central. Okay, now why do you need an OS deployer? Okay. When it comes to deploying uh, operating system, business face several challenges, especially if this environment or this company in large scale. So we have 
different uh, challenge can range from time consuming manual installation because that take a very long time so that's mean more effort and headache on employees for IT team so with use OS deployer we have many features and many capabilities we can use to reduce this effort and this headache so OS deployer allow you to capture any operating system from any device and deploy it to another device you can deploy this uh, single image can be deployed a multiple captures in multiple devices okay this architecture behind the OS deployment uh, uh, can be explained the main steps to make the deployment first we will create your master image and we have different method to take this image the step two, customize the deployment as your needs. Step three, push your image or your master image out to machine or multiple machines as you can or as you need. So let's talk in details for the three steps. Now the first step, which is create image, we have two options to create image or to take uh, uh, this image we have online imaging and offline imaging uh, this uh, two techniques we will talk about it in details during the session uh, when we can uh, use online image and when we can use offline image after that customize You can customize the image as you need, as your requirements. After that, deploy. We have different method to deploy your image. Okay, so just one minute. Okay, we have two options to create image, online imaging and offline imaging okay online imaging that's used in when an active system is remotely imaged without any user interaction so the system is running and we will capture the image to push to another computer the first step as you can see we will select create image after that we will put the uh, details about the computer the remote office uh, or image name, image the computer, we will uh, take the uh, uh, capture of the operating system from this computer details. And also we can select the credential. After that, we will select the partition. Here, number two, select partition. That helps you to create an image of a single partition or multiple partitions. And also you can, uh, uh, enter disk based on your requirements okay strip uh, step three that's uh, shrink selected partitions by shrinking the disk partitions you can reduce the space occupied by the primary partitions and logically driver and the step four which is a driver collection after we take this image or capture this image we will save this image in the repository and also we have different driver for every hardware for each hardware if you take image for uh, hb we can make driver for hb or lenovo or dell or any hardware so we can use this before uh, after the deployment okay here we will add image for repository and save it okay offline imaging we will take offline imaging with the system is stopped so we have a system and this is system is stopped we, do, we don't have system in this device so we use a portable media to create the image Okay, we will use the portable media uh, in uh, offline imaging and also in deployment. And we will talk ab about portable media in details during the session. Okay, 
customized deployment templates. So if we will talk about organization or any corporation, in each organization, we have different uh, uh, department, various user uh, rules, and each department requires a different operating system with a specific configuration or a specific uh, application based on the business need. So we use OS deployment so we can make a template for each operating system and also we can make some configuration to match his needs. So how we can customize this template? The first we have uh, image partition selections. Once you have captured the disk partition imaging details, you can categorize and decide the partition needed for each employee role or each department. And also we have partition-wise deployment. Here you can choose either to uh, overwrite or deploy the partition as a new partition because we have two options. You can overwrite or you can generate a new partition. We have also disk adjustment settings, post-deployment activities, and we will talk about this next slide. And uh, uh, also we have user profession by, uh, profile migration, because when we capture the image, also we capture all the user profile details. So you have two options. If we have used the, uh, the default profile, uh, user, so we will take the image with all the details in user user profile, or you can change this user profile or, or take user profile from another image. It's available. You can customize this deployment. Okay. Here we have configured post deployment activities. Some activities we will use after the deployment, like shut down the device or restart the device. Also, we can configure new user profile. Uh, we can uh, change the uh, uh, SID or name or pattern for this computer. Also, we can uh, add this computer to specific domain or a specific OU group. And also, we can create another account for this, uh, this uh, target machine. Also, we can add some applications for each department. For example, we have uh, HR department, sales or technicians. We can add some uh, or different application for each operating system to match this needs or this requirements. So now we will talk about portable media. After we create image, okay, whether this offline image or online image and customize deployment, we must create BE media or we must uh, use portable media to deploy the image. We have three methods for, or three different type for uh, PE media, USB, ISO or CD, and PXE. The most uh, used, which is USB and PXE, to deploy and to take offline image. Okay, so we have three different methods to deploy this image, Inst uh, instant task, zero touch task, and standalone task. The first we have instant task. Okay, as you can see, uh, this task we use passcode. Okay, you can see here three, five, two, three. For each different image, we have different passcode. We uh, uh, use this task created here will be always alive with active a passcode. So we select the deployment template. After that, we select the deployment mode. If this instant task, we must have a passcode to each image. Okay. After that, we will select deployment settings, which is include the computer details, MAC address, IP address to select target machine. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. The second uh, uh, method, which is zero touch task. Uh, this deployment method used to deploy OS or the operating system image to target computer without any physical uh, uh, contact. So that's why this 
this uh, method uh, called zero touch task. So we can make the uh, uh, deployment without any physical touch. We're using automated putting and deployment, okay? But uh, uh, also, by the way, we have two uh, prerequisite uh, must we have after or before use a zero touch task. Okay, the first one, the target machine or the computer is live with an OS. Okay, and also this computer include agent to use a zero touch task. If we have to this prerequisite, it's easy to use zero touch task to deploy the, the, the image with easy steps. So the first we will customize deployment. Okay, you can select any deployment template, create BE media. After that, you will select the live target machine to deploy the image. Standalone task. Now we have many employees now working remotely or working from home. So you might have to deploy operating system to computers that are not connected to your network. So if you wanted to deploy operating system to any target machine, this target machine not connected to your network, in this case, we will use standalone task. You will create standalone task and after that, download the standalone deployment tool. Okay. After that, you will select the uh, uh, bootable media, which is USB drive, in which the OS image in this media, and you can download uh, the image in this target machine. Hardware independent deployment. Now, if you take image from, for example, uh, HP device, and you want to deploy this image in Dell device, if this available or applicable in OS deployer, yes. The answer is yes. We can take any image from any hardware device and push or de deploy this image in another hardware device. It's uh, it's easy. It's uh, uh, we can make it just for or by using the driver for each hardware type. So you can take any image and deploy any image in in different hardware. No problem. Okay, that's all about OS Deployer and uh, for our webinar today, we will talk in details about OS Deployer, how we can create image, how we can customize this image, uh, pre-activities uh, pre and post-activities. Also, we'll talk about the three methods to make the deployment. If you have any question, or need personal demo or need the POC to try the system, just send now in Q&A section, or you can contact us by this email or phone number. Okay, thank you all for joining us today. And if you want to uh, take a demo or POC, just contact us. Assalamu alaikum.